Oh no, it's not. Okay, I have to actually press call it. Okay, just waiting for it to go live. Kind of excited to play this game, actually. It's been pretty, pretty hyped. Uh, especially because I actually remember playing the old Harry Potter games back when I was a kid. So it's uh, it's kind of nostalgia for me. Yeah, there we go. I I think everything's good. You can hear the game, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could. Though my mouth, it doesn't seem like my mouth is moving at all. Yeah. Okay, so let me check that everything's good. It's a okay. You know, if you're here, you're here, all right? Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, let's... There we go. I don't think there's anything special with this. It's kind of weird. For a triple A game, I didn't expect them to have a menu like this, right? I kind of expected them to have like a menu where the buttons are just connected. <laughs> Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> Uh, I personally do not care that much about customization. I'm not here for this. I'm just here for the story. I mean, I guess the glasses, because uh, this is this this is totally me, totally me for real. Indeed, a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, that's really high pitched. What about the other one? That was quite something. It was wonderful. I be I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. What the heck? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I, I am indeed a student, but I could very. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. That was quite something. Okay, I'll go voice one. I am <laughs> indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Well, I guess it's my last name, so good enough. Yeah. All right. I run a poll if I could. Which house am I going to get sorted into? Ah, oh, it appears now. we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. What time period did this, uh, did this game take part in? I don't actually remember. Was it the 19th century? I, I genuinely don't remember. I'm actually blinking so much because they're so strong.
before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. Okay. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Yo, brown nose. Have you seen this? What a great way to, uh... I have. Way to rise. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he hurt? is a significant threat. And... It was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Wondering Man, I'm actually what wondering Miriam's knew about like his a activities. Uh, popular uh, British name. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. I see. Is it another case where this guy's like the chosen one or something? Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh well. well I get this guy for about three minutes. So. Yeah. I bet you was actually still alive. There's a chance. This is the first comment. Saved. Ah, good time. Are you all right? You're hurt. Okay, perhaps a bit. You right for that now. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yo, down deep had to heal. It's like I'm actually playing Star Wars again. Speaking of which, that's probably the next game I'm actually going to be uh, screaming. So. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright, finally. Out of exposition. Start moving around a little bit. How far did that port key take us? 
farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those Man, this game looks pretty good. The port good. key was meant to lead us there. It's very cinematic so far. This but has I guess not that's been the day completely. either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Man, this one's just glowing on the left. Okay, no. Mind your step. Okay. Camera, camera jig's a bit off, actually. It's way, way more off than what I actually expected. It's not bad. Just hop around like an idiot. It's like I'm playing leapfrog with this guy. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten on, form of ancient up, magic. Okay, just uh, ancient jump magic. on the guy's back, no problem. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Man, this game does look great. Hogwarts Castle it. was built it's by not that time, and not that is big. itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. <laughs> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But the magic is no do. different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Yo, I actually Focus got the... on the center. I actually gotta cast something now. Uh my turn. What? Right. Okay, it's tap. It's not it's not it's not as responsive as I thought it would be. It's just tap. Excellent! Right. Okay, yeah. I remember this game did... I remember this thing that this game had auto -lands. I'm guessing that's what it was. Yeah. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. So this Your one is... Was improving with every cast. This is like the... Thank you, sir. Just a generic auto attack. Okay. Ah! Up there! Up here. Okay. Bit of a twist. This man's hell agile for being like what? 60? We're close now. It's just ahead. I, I'm kind of curious. Is there anything here I can like collect? Yeah, there is. I just might. Uh, like I'm still in the mindset that this is a Metrovania game. That's. If I don't, I have to come back to it. But I don't think so. More of a just a narrative, uh, driven, like single player experience, I guess. So, steady yourself, Reparo! This guy is a, this guy's kind of cracked. Just repaired a bridge like as if it was nothing. No, why do I feel like I'm just gonna fall? Can't Almost be good. There. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. 
<laughs> What's the point in destroying all these jugs? Like later on, do they give like uh, hearts or anything like that? Or gold? Camera work doesn't feel as smooth of a pan. Professor, I this imagine. statue. This may have been his home. Wait, also, I just realized this guy lost his wife in the beginning. Why is he not more sad about it? What? Well, this was a long time ago, but. That enchanted man, crystallized stone happened. again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! This is a mirror. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. I see. It. There's that glow again, chosen. like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Rick's heart. Wait, did it teleport? Where are we? Yeah, they did. I don't believe it. Hi. Merlin's name. Hello? This is not the ministry. <sighs> this has to be the ministry, right? I swear to God. Wait, no, it's not. Okay. I'm getting my <clears throat> movies mixed up. Just a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. <clears throat> Who is this guy? <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Ah, right. It's a wizard bank, yes. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I'm guessing there's some valuable that was uh, stored here that his wife wanted him to have. Stay close. That's like an artifact that uh, we're going to use later on down in the story. After you. I will say, this game does feel very Harry Potter like. It does have that. Uh, that magic that you sort of feel. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart. Harry Potter is a good <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very fun. Very British. Da -do -da -do. All right, we're back to it. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Oh. You'll want to take a breath. You know, the fact that we're oh, actually stationary is pretty cool. It means that this thing in the middle of the That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Right, Perfect. like no matter what, we're actually staying still. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Settle in. As we do that, we literally skip. Okay, I thought there was gonna be more dialogue. So this game baited me. Vault number. Vault twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. 
It's like, uh, it's, got this, it's got this, like, what, red liquid at the side? It's pretty interesting. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Yeah, it was. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I see. Is the fact that he's red I mean he's correct? Something like that. It'd be interesting if he was. Here we are. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Man, these were these are some of the bigger ones. They're self-contained, unlike the other ones. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Okay, you know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid of going in and then getting locked inside. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key... Yeah, oh, and then close guess the door. Ah, uh, what do you know? Wait. I'm a genius. Called it right there. Best of luck. <sighs> well, it wasn't as so ominous as the guy was, was like, wow, he's partially evil. Right? It was more like, well, it Let was a direction. Think. But still, I just, just called it. Here. What can I say? Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. So you're just learning all these basics. Let's see so what we're like missing. Revelio, Reperio, Ready your wand right? and focus. Uh, Set your wand with it, and then the whole. Okay, I see. So I actually have to control my uh, my side with it. I guess I have to go faster. Oh, okay, you can't you can't go out of bounds. You just point. That's right. And holy shit! <laughs> I've got what is it? Rebellion. Like, is this supposed to like remind me of the there. Illuminati? Uh, that's the first thing I think of. Move a bit closer and try again. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way Yo, to... Oh, let me in. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. Okay. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Okay, I'm kind of Lead the this. way. But seriously, this is pretty cool. This is actually a very long exposition. Way longer than what I expected. Lumos! Uh, it's been like 20, 25 minutes, actually. This There's is no problems. ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our Rebellion. way out here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Please, Professor. But to what end, I can't say. Let me cast some spells. Stay close. I'm actually just, I'm actually no just following. I can't do anything. Go poorly, not out of Gringotts. Please. <sighs> Yo, it's like a delve mission in, uh, in PoE. I see something guy. up ahead. Okay, here we go. What is it? That glow again. on the floor. Lumos! Oh, what happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. What's that? Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. No shit, Sherlock. That lock. statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. I wonder. I can't pan up, so I'm wondering if there's anything in the sky. Okay, no, there isn't. Uh, for, some, for some reason, this reminded me of like the old Zelda one, where it kind of just uh, like there's stuff that drops in from the sky down. There so. must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelio, 
I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Yeah. Wait. That doesn't match it up. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yo, teach me how to cast it. And guy. Okay. okay. It's, it's so weird, like the like how you cast spells in this game. It's so different than what I expected. Like I expect the fact that you're supposed to be able to draw a path for it, right? But you're not. Right? Hold R T and then. Lumos. Y. Well done. Okay. Now the reflection is turning towards me. So I'm guessing it's made of that. It does right? follow the light. Okay. This is pretty sick. Am I actually gonna get some actual combat in this game? Like, I want to make a fool of myself. Actually. That, that's that's part of part of mine here. Protego. Yo, we got quick time events. I do remember. I swear to God, I do remember Defecto. seeing. Let me Depose. Why does he even? He's, he's literally just cleared all these together, and he's dealing like three hundred damage. I'm doing like three. Okay, it's a combo. So at the end, you actually do a massive uh, Deceptive! And I see that you can do it. Expulso! Dude, why does he actually even need it? I don't understand. He, he can solo this one. They're level 1. I can see it on the top. But this guy does not need the expulso. Holy moly. I swear to god, I'm like a 3 year old kid or something. He's just bringing me along. So it's actually just a flop. Exposo. Okay, so when that when that timer comes up. So when that timer comes up, I just uh like a lot of It's like a parry. Kind of a bit. I wonder if there's a cooldown for it. Stay close! I guess the wave's over. Lumos. Professor! Oh, no, no, he's Professor gone. Fig! Professor no, where is this guy? This isn't good. This guy needs to hard carry me for this dungeon. Please. That's like I'm What's doing a raid and, and uh, I'm like a guy that just, uh, just learned how to play this game. Somewhere. Please. Where is this guy? Where is this guy actually? Ah, that's where they're leading me. Come on again. Potato! So I'm guessing this is the same thing. Lumos. Revelio. I'm on my own this time. Okay, so I have to Revelio all three of these, right? And I'm guessing I do the same thing. Except one thing. There's this thing in the distance. It's the chest, right? Nice. So, left. Left. What do you call it? Left D pad is Revelio. Okay. Lumos. Okay, so I Lumos. So I guess I get all three of these lines. These statues yeah. with their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. I, mean, I don't mind. I bring it on. I take it back. Yo, no, spare me, please. Okay, so I actually did not get a block. Sorry, okay. I'm so bad at this game. How did I actually be Star Wars on the hardest? Game? Insane. I just missed block and they were so free. Hold Y during Protego to stun him is stupid. Okay, so basically I hold Y. I tap Y if I want to block. Just purely block. Actually, pretty nice. 
like the parry down is actually really forgiving for you. Like you play Star Wars, right? And once you miss a parry, you're stuck there for quite a bit. And the parry duration is really short. And this, it feels like you got such a such a headway for it. Like this is much easier than Jedi Knight, right? Which is what I'm kind of expecting for the the next the next game as well. Lumos. Very oh, yes. Lumos. Rebellion. Really? Oh, okay. Yo? Youth gate? Alright, we're on it. Let's go, buddy. I wonder if this is gonna take us to actually no. I was gonna say I was gonna say it takes us back to the vault, but that doesn't make any sense. This might be the actual artifact that the gate is. Like the gate was actually trying to get us to uh, to go towards. So. Yeah. It's kind of sick that it's just hanging out there, you know. Uh, also, if you if you are watching, just just let me know if the like the, the voice is good. Or anything. There you are. Yeah, so that, that's it. How did you? Where is this guy? This guy was just hiding here. Was he just stuck what behind that door for like the past place? twenty minutes or something? I don't know. Like, jeez, man. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I oh, wonder. I see. So it's like the same thing that was happening at the uh, at the last movie, where you viewed Snape's memories of like what happened. I, I, I'm pretty sure it feels like it's the same thing. Pretty cool. Follow my lead. I was gonna say this is Dumbledore, but I am pretty sure this is not It's funny though, you can tell place. when the cutscene is pre-rendered. Like, like you can tell that this just looks completely different than the, the actual path game we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. So I guess the fact that he is maybe a descendant of him? The ritual wizard I mean, either way, he can see the child who have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Because to be honest, I'm going to tell you right there, like if the trial was that entire thing we just went through, you know, like guarding ancient magics with level one golems. That's what you're Maybe saying. not the smartest idea. The glow. No, I'm, I'm just giving you advice them. right there. Yes, sir. Like this all-time powerful ancient wizard or something. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. Oh, I see. Must be the Someone's other man's coming. Ah, so let's see. So those are the guys that are actually trying to access it. I don't know. It. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. How long do goblins live for? And why are you here? Actually? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <laughs> no, uh, sir. They had the key to the vault. No, ball. he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault Twelve were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. 
I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a We did die? I don't know. It wasn't, it no wasn't that hard. It wasn't traitors. that hard of a slam, was it? No. Where were we? This guy, this dude, the I'm guy in the left is checking us like, man. Anything. He didn't really do that good of a job, well, did he? Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. what he should have been guarding the other two. You know? Like, this is not a level one. I would also be very sad if he doesn't make that. I, I hope that he doesn't, but I have a feeling that he will. Shit, I keep it out. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Hogwarts? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Hey, I hear the theme in the background. Come. We have a sorting set. Hey, to... we're here. Everything's lining up together. It's like, uh, it's like I was chosen to be, uh, to be here, actually. So. Da -da. Oh, that was 30-minute action. That was not bad. That was pretty long. There we go. The Hogwarts that we all know about. There we go. There's the title. Ah, let me move, please. Da -do -do. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of Yo, course, sir. Secrets? Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, I'll have to. I promised my friend I would uh, tell her what, uh, what, what do you call it, dorm I was picked into. So, uh, let's go. I always knew this guy was kind of a cheeky fellow. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. So I'm guessing this guy is like the top of the top, right? Fig, nice of you to join us. Yeah. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Yeah, this guy's much more harsh than when I, uh, when I thought he If you're lucky, be. we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. He's he's kind of like the exact opposite of Dumbledore's <clears throat> personality. I'll be in touch. Right? Like, if he's just 180 his personality, though, that's what he is. Classic Hogwarts. I bet you most of these are first years, right? Because only first years get sorted. Actually, I don't think that's true, but it's more like Professor Weasley. We've won no one really joins this. Yo, welcome. A Weasley. You're just in time. Have a seat. All right, moment of truth. Is it gonna give me a questionnaire? Tell me who I'm gonna join. I'm guessing it's permanent, right? Once you make a house choice, you ah, can't. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. What? Doesn't everyone? I can't wait to... <laughs> I can't wait to... I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having I an mean, even adventurous is pretty spirit. Yeah, so it's, it's but great. your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mmm. What is it? Wonder? Ah, there we go. Ooh, what is it? You know, if it was me, I would be... Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hard true. Mm, you should always try to strive for what you want. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. What? Only two questions? That's crazy. I, you know what? This, this, this let me choose it. I, I, I will accept my fate. It is what it is. I do not whine about what I have. You eaten. belong in Slytherin. I choose who I am. To be fair, I do agree with it. A little bit of ambition is, is healthy. It makes my healthy better. I mean, you gotta remember, I think this is way before uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Got No Nose, right? So. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Yeah, Enough! I, I, it's I don't not as though I've been sure flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. So is this type of headmaster. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. Nice to meet you. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah, the hat's just sitting there. You know, like, has it ever been lost before? It's quite I kind of just wonder, for like, a student to if a student as ever a gets upset at what house they just, like, challenge. take the hat. I just throw it as, like, a I'm prank sure or you're up for. Right? I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. Seems like one of those uh, this Hogwarts is the lost to tales. The you know? common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. 
Aspiration. I also do wonder for another thing is that um well done. whether now go on in all and these get professors have their own have house and if they have, if they have like unique dialogue I should be back in the morning based on to what house you, you for your first so class. It's it's what I would Thank imagine. You, Professor Weasley. Uh, this game You're has, welcome. So. I hope you enjoy you your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I love the color green. Just kidding. Looks like everyone's this gone. room looks drab as hell. Let's head to the common room. This room, this room looks super drab. I mean, it looks. It doesn't look the, like the worst. But yeah, it, it doesn't look great. <laughs> Actually, uh, I want to explore a little bit. I'll try. These are just more common rooms. What's art? So art is the first one. So the bottom right, I'm guessing you have different spells, and you can bind to whichever one you want. Right? I'm I'm guessing the potions are like flasks. Um, in dark. In Dark Souls, yeah. Where you can just restore them to whatever your capa like holding capacity is every time you go towards a uh, like a saving point. So, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, I'll get there in a second. Just let, me, let me see what's going on. Looks okay. It's it's not my color palette. But I suppose some introductions are in order. Yeah, it's something. It's astonishing what one can learn. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Chess? Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. True. <laughs> I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you in Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps you know, one of these I days I'll show you a thing or two about approach. flying. I, I can teach you more than Kugawa man. ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me ask. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Uh... Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see so it? So this person's an athlete and a chess pro. Goodbye, Melda. Nice meeting you. Okay. So you got like the world's the next uh, next Quidditch champion and uh, female Carl's Magnus. This guy I know. I I think uh, I, I heard spoiled one. it a little for myself. But yeah. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. Yes. Uh... I'm ominous. From what Almost I remember, gone. this guy nice is to meet you, a ominous. relative. Well, you certainly uh, had a memorable arrival. So yeah. I do like to make an entrance. Yes. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. True. <laughs> You're definitely. In Why the not right give a good hats. entrance? A good, do let uh, me know if good I can be of any help as you navigate yeah. your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Uh. Just suspect me, brother. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with yeah, blood okay. status. Yeah, he was. A pure blood maniac. Yep. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. That's part of the reason why he is blind, from what I remember. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so 
somewhere. Okay, so it doesn't even do anything. I can't even hit the students. Like, is, is there a lock on? And then there's no lock on, but there is like targeting. So I guess that's like close. Oh, enjoy the prefect statement. Oh. Should get rid of the lock. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Everyone feels Thank you. much nicer Not than what I Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. <laughs> he was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. So Glad everyone knows that the other right. guy got eaten. Eh. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Yeah, this game's pretty good. It was nice like, meeting it, it you, looks, Sebastian. It I'll looks let you get great. back to your book. Like, even the, nice uh, even meeting the faces you too. Yeah. Good luck today. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Rather dull Professor in Weasley's now. waiting for you just by the stairs. No. Ba -do -ba -do. Let's be go up. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. You bet. I've been I dreaming am, of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Sure. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially yep. as you'll be to, expected uh, to, to complete your OWLs much. at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your so success. So the Ministry itself has multiple departments. <laughs> Like that, like that's, that's what I'm hearing. Ba -do -ba -do. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Thank you. It's pretty much like a encyclopedia. Yeah, pretty much like an encyclopedia. All right, let me move. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. God. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Thank you. Like, I, I like story, but this there's way. so much of it. It feels like I'm just thrown into it. Uh, without um, without actually being able to do anything. I like I've only been moving a ton of people. something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Revelio. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities oh, to see. practice so, your magic so press and educate yourself you about you wizarding lore. Oh, I see. It. Makes sense. Revelio. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Come on, let me open the chest. Oh my god. The Okay, so it's actually based it's I'm guessing this is actual um uh Actual, what do you call it? Folklore? Give Sean, the only to acquire XP or XP points. Okay, so I have to do this pretty much. Not bad. It's kind of weird. Okay. So the XP is not from combat, which I actually think is a good idea. I think combat. Combat isn't a great way to do this. And these are all the spells that I do have. 
later on. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. What the heck? Inside and out. This is like a freaking Rainbow Six game where if I just start spawn peeking, it just gives me a message with a timer. I just, my screen just went all red. Aspirations. Yeah, this is, is kind of like the boring part of the game. There's nothing I can do ah, about it. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Okay. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, so this is fast travel. Okay. So flu flames are pretty much just um, fast travel locations. So I've only discovered one so far. And see, you can see academic, including the lack. Okay, I see. So these are all the flu flames I don't have, except for one that was unlocked for me. Okay, divination classroom. Okay. Nice. I mean, this game does, like, it is doing what it's supposed to. It's teaching you, like, the foundations of it through a non, like, super menu heavy. I mean, I feel like this is about as, like... And here we are. Quite it's about as much saver. menu as I can really These summon. stairs yeah. lead directly to Central Hall. Okay, so this is, like, the middle of it. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. So where was the Foo Flames? Okay, there it was. So there's just these uh, statues like uh, on the wall. I'm just remembering for Always what they look like. Always something happening so here. It's the heart of the Lumos. hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Yes. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today, and I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. This is like Hogsmeade a... is the okay. only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the supplies ah. you require in Hogsmeade. Ah, so much dialogue. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. You know, I kind of want to try butterbeer at IRL. You know, it makes me want to go to, like, Can you tell Orlando? me more about the Defense in, uh, Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name right? implies, like focuses on how to defend oneself for, against yeah, the evils like, that it? lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. My charms. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, charms. jinxes. All terribly useful. Oh, useful. I think you will enjoy oh, Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you. All right, let's go. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to okay, learn. Okay, I can't even skip the Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you. Oh, Yo, I can't even mash A. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, just stuck. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story you know, than to be a honest, search like, for belongings and uh, an extended trip up to like the castle. It's kind of like some armed escort from the Ministry. I, I'll tell we did specific. take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I yeah. presume yeah. Professor well. Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. It's kind of like Fallout, where um, speak of the devil. <laughs> Professor Fig, full, full, full your ears must have been burning. Oh, yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. 
Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it's it seems. Thing to say. They've hmm. a rare aptitude for magic. Well, I'm magic. just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats no, and carriages to Hogwarts, and you sound... chose to fly in the path right of a dragon. Exactly. Like, it makes sense. I wouldn't say I chose sounds the weird. dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Yes, thank Come you. Come find me in my classroom Let after move, you've attended please. both classes today, and I'll explain more about those uh. assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Holy moly, man. It's only been exposition in this entire stream. Like, I've also just been, what, like, listen to a podcast, and it would be the same for you guys. Or better, just watch a TV show. There's no difference. What do you want? It's good to see you, Professor. It's good and to see you. you. You didn't die. I was you hoping made it. our good paths job. would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility, flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster <laughs> that would be better left <laughs> between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? What? Unfold it and have a look. Is they gonna teach me something new? Oh, okay, quests. Uh, lower section. I can get lost in this castle, so I need my charm compass. Levioso, new spell. Oh, I see. Some spells are locked by requirements. You need to do okay. So it's like the typical Metrovania thing. Okay, so I can just track them here. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, let's go. Uh, Wait, no, it is. Okay, this game just gigabyte for a second. So this game, this game does kind of like, like it's pretty hard. I mean, to be fair, my graphics card isn't the best. I mean, it's like it's a twenty-seven, so. But still, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not what I was expecting. Is that all you've got? Levioso! Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, 
You may be asking Very yourself old, how an wise. old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poaching in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. I kind of wish I knew more about uh, the geography of the UK. I want to know more about stuff about the UK. To the wise, it's age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yo? Like you? I'm gonna lift you. Why, why do they do this? I don't like this mini game. It's bizarre. I, I, I don't know. Like, it, it happens only once. It's such a weird thing. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Right, I thought he was going to put an actual opponent. Like an actual person. Hey, right, let me lift this. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yep. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Okay, so this is a shield breaker. Or guard breaker. Okay. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Yo? Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Protego complicates things. This can't be. Protego actually has a career. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Uh, was Thank I fighting against the Slytherin? Glad to have the opportunity to practice. What? If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. See? A good classroom professor. duel is Cheers one thing. And gives good but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Yo, perhaps Again. I should just duel well Mr. Sallow today. right now. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Dismissed. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, this game lags if I turn it turn too quickly. Nice work. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, Perhaps this wasn't your first <laughs> duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Like, why is such a dick? Fair enough. Such a dick. You owe what? me an honest what? duel when you aren't. I swear. You know. I was expecting more of like uh, more of a joke reply. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. 
Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count, Count me in. in. Sounds like Excellent. free money. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Sure. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, or you have just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer I mean, luck. Do you think it feels like it's one of the more skill. enjoyable Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower yeah. entrance. Like, combat in this game if from what I've seen it feels pretty, pretty good so far. Like, Until except for the fact time. that I have to hold and, and do this. Like, the fact that I have to hold is, is a good But other than that, it seems fine. Yo, level two? Oh, I love unlock. So some things are actually locked behind level two. What are you up to now? How do I activate this flame? So these are all the control charms. Lumos. It's not Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Is it really not X? One sec. Um. Side quests are available, okay. What is the actual button to do? I actually don't know. Challenges, quests, collections, inventory, gear. What is the actual what what is the actual button? I, I don't remember anymore. I never lit lit one of these things up before. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Lumos. It's not Levioso. Lumos. It's not Levioso either. Revelio. Not Revelio. Alright, I'll come back to it. Uh, it's just down there. I see a lot of flames, actually. Yeah. Wait. I think I screwed up. So this is upstairs. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this camera feels so... so janky sometimes and it's really laggy when i cross like i want to say this is some of the first time i've actually lied in game before yeah okay so it actually takes time to, to lie sorry to uh to load too i don't know maybe, maybe i'll think about turning it down how nice to see you my oh, okay. young friend so when, so when you just go to it i don't think that's okay that's perfect perfect More. One more. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. Okay, let's go. Who am I gonna beat up this time? Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Yo, Gryffindor? Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please ball. open your textbooks Plans to page the 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charts? Yo, is it going to be the same Leviosa, anyone? Leviosa again? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, 
You all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? <laughs> all right, starting from scratch. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, let's go. No flinging. Uh... So what is Akio? Akio. Akio's a pole, okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. True. Keep True. at it. You might just rise like anything. You gotta keep here. going at it. If you just give up, it's very uh, good, everyone. That's enough you, of that. You kind of just well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. This guy is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> He's actually a bit crazy. Like I'm scared of him a little bit. You know, like I'm scared. If I met this person in real life, I would think be thinking to myself, man, I wonder if they're gonna crack anytime. You know, like just. Just, just a little bit. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? We're gonna pull balls. I guess there's one that's for uh, for for pushing as well. It's not just pulling. I can't imagine it'd be just pulling. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charge. Akio, at the last possible split. Now, not to worry. Excellent control there. Yo, 50? Okay. That's it! Ah, please! Don't lose your composure! No. Let me try again, please. Very good! Points to Slytherin! Bruh, come on, I gotta use a no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's... Okay, so yeah. Okay. Come on. Show me what you Let got. Let us Okay, this person's already pretty good. I'm kind of scared. Phew. I'm a bit scared. Ah, please give me 50. I can do this. I can totally do this. Nice. Easy 50. You got nothing on me. Very good. I know she's got a full 50 right now. No! No! <laughs> Stay focused! What's I lost. There we go. Can I, can I do this? Let me check. Like, what if I just pull the... Akio! Quite 
impressive. No, it's not enough. Man! I totally want to play this again. I, I would have knocked her balls out. Shit, I, I didn't know it was something this you could knock out the other. That was doing it. Shall we? I thought it was friendly. I think we are well past interesting at this All point. Right, do it. I'm actually gonna knock your balls I'll out. Say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. I'm gonna go. Brilliant. There's no way she doesn't get it. Here we go. I feel like it is destiny. Oh, my eyes are gonna hurt a little bit. The, the small eyes are kind of shining go. really, really harshly. Akio. Nice. Easy climb. Oh, that was an execution. Man, she's so lucky ending it one. Very good, oh, both of you. Well done. Not even close. Spontiff. <laughs> Man, this game loads really slowly. Yeah. It is uh it's a pretty resource intense game. Class is this I guess that's all Gather your things on the way out. I just haven't really played uh, that many triple A's uh, over there over the course of the years. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier. So this person is a transfer soon. So there's other schools outside Hogwarts, which I... Uh, what, what do I pick? I feel like both these are going to be dick. And I'm going to play that. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Like, what is Wagadu? My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Like, what, what, what is Wagadu? Is it another We had student? left Uganda and were okay, halfway yeah. around the world yeah, like, uh, at a new she, school she, in she a new country. She sounds like she's from Uganda. Like, I'm kind of curious. Like, this may how seem this, an old question, this but is magic, magic the same the there as it is here? Hey, mm, is it the same? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. What? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It is dramatic, but I wonder if it's more effective. Kind is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. It is. Thank I'm kind of curious asking. about... Because one of the things Wagadu, I feel like they should do the most but is try to, to like, establish a lore outside ah, of just... I think Professor uh, Rona wants the to talk have, to you. Like, that's what most people Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm glad we're getting more tidbits outside of course. A word, can if you would. Like you humans. You wanted to speak so with me, it. Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. I well, it did. an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, 
Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. What the hell is this? Expect to, to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What? Extra homework? I'm gonna riot. Level one lock. I don't know what lock means. Probably, probably I'm just unlocking this spell, right? Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Right. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering Claw, right? about. Yeah. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, yeah, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Yep, good luck in your own stuff. It's a chest up here, right? My interest in herbology stems only from my desire to excel in What? <laughs> if someone would advise us to know where the path out fertilizer. Off on another adventure. There's a chest somewhere. The in the werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. What? Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. Okay. It was Albert so Boot. Does that, does, no, it does, wasn't. does that it thing mean two? Oh, fine! Fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a like, flat? That question mark is obviously two, right? Stop it, right? Peeves! You'll get us in trouble! In trouble so does that mean it's three question marks? Does that mean it's four? Does that mean unicorn is four? She says it's a boot and he says it's a flat! Peeves! Enough! You'll get us all detention! Oh, I see. Okay. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, petting a cat? Yo, <laughs> my clothes are clipping too. This is the type of this is the type of content I'm actually looking for. Peak, peak, uh, peak cat simulator. What, what is this? Like, I get that I'm rolling for something, and this corresponds to that. But am I rolling for what the unicorn is? Very weird. Like, is the unicorn too? Yeah, weird. Weird ass stuff. Alright, we'll come back another time. Let's see what else is up here. Probably need another spell for it. Seems like something I can interact with. What the top? So there is something all the way at the top over here. Ah, oh, it's a ghost. Astronomy room, right? There's a lot of just small stuff that's actually really cool that you can just interact with. Yeah, but please, I uh, have Cambridge, yada yada yada. Enchanted telescope! Alright, just some letter to some person. No, nope, level one lock. Okay, so I can't unlock anything. I feel like I've seen so many, so many locks. Well, like so many, uh, so many chests and doors that I just can't open without another lock. Let me see if there's another thing up here. I'm not in the headquarters or anything. This is just a oh, common area, right? Yeah, right that's right. Okay. <laughs> Midday school uniform. Whee! Could be just cosmetics. 
Yo, awesome looking view. Man, that's so cool. Man, this looks pretty pretty nice. Yeah, it's just nice, uh, nice looking. But there doesn't seem to be anything here I can interact with so far. It's just all kind of whatever. Like, it's just more gold from chests that I haven't even seen a shop for yet. Yep. Okay. Let me see if I can just... How does saving work? I guess it's autosave, right? Yeah, I guess it's autosave. Oh no, okay. So you see, so you save here. Okay, this is a manual save. Okay, all right. I'm gonna call it uh, here for today. Got a lot of fun. Gonna move towards the next few classes sometime after this, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Gonna stream. Uh, once again, Saturday. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to be streaming this or Risk of Rain. Probably just think about it sometime, maybe either tomorrow or Friday. You'll know because the, the, the thumbnail is going to change. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you for coming by and uh, take care.